So I've been seeing a lot of people not quite understanding how arena works, whether it's your formation, the number of battles you have, your rankings, all those things. So we're going to be going over that today because I think one of the biggest confusions I see from the player place is not understanding how to set up their maps because I think they understand they think you need to set up every single map. And in reality, you as the player are picking the one map you have to change. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's talk about PVP and everything about the arena. So a good point to start is talking about your defensive formation. You ever wonder why if you fight the same person multiple times in the arena, uh, it just so happens that they're in the same exact map, the same exact way. Well, that's because when you set up your formation, you're not setting up all five. You yourself as the player picks the most advantageous map to your team composition and you use that as your defensive structure. Some of them are better to funnel enemies into a small tight corridor. Other ones are much more wide open and it really changes the way your strategy goes. So building your team in the correct order is going to be very important. Number one, pick the arena you want. And number two, pick your heroes. Because I see so many pictures of people like they do this and then they change this. And I'm like, well, I don't want my team like that. And then they move their team and they go back here and they're like, but it just changed this one. It's because you're only choosing a single formation to set up as your defense as well as your team composition. So... Hopefully that clarifies a little bit up because I, I think like on a daily basis, whether it's Discord, Reddit, wherever, people are asking questions about Arena and this is probably the most asked one. You set up one map, you pick the Arena that you want to defend on, and then you save your deformation. Don't keep switching between all of them. Who Beyond that... Normally you have a certain number of challenges a day, but I think a lot of people don't realize once you've run out, you actually have additional attempts at zero diamonds. Why it's like that, I honestly don't know. Uh, so when you do like, and honestly, I think for free to play, it's like your first one, your first daily attempt extra is free. I don't know why they just don't give them to you. I feel like it's kind of like a little bit of gatekeeping of knowledge or something, but just know you can do additional battles at zero cost of diamonds. Don't think you just have whatever it's showing you on that button down there. You might actually have multiples depending on if you spent, if there's like uh, something that's kind of giving you that ability. And then beyond that, we need to talk about the first time reward. So Free to play players, you're probably going to be slow grinding this up unless you somehow got on a server without many whales because let's be honest, not only is like, you know, the campaign kind of dominated by it, PvP is going to be very difficult for a free to play player to get higher ranks, but it's not unheard of to be able to push your way up, especially over time building the right team compositions like we talked about both in the pvp tier list and what is the best pvp team currently both of those i feel like have really helped people out decide what to go for and that's going to help you get the first time rewards much easier of course getting to champion who that is a task in itself so getting the champion is what you should really be wanting to go for and you can see at this point there are a lot of people in the champion bracket. Essentially what happens is when you're getting your ranking up here, once you hit 3,200 points, you will then qualify to be in the champion's bracket. That's gonna be the most important thing. And as you guys can see, there's people that are slowly getting up there that are more free to play friendly accounts and eventually free to play will jump up here as well. But the important part is getting all the way up to 3,200 points. And I believe it's called what, legendary? Is that what the, uh, the ranking is called? Yeah, legendary three, you need to get to 3,200 points. The second you get to 3,200 points, you are immediately ranked so long as you're within the top 200 as a champion now the champion is important too because once you get up here you will start at about 1000 points i believe everybody comes in here at a thousand points and then if you're not like one of the bigger spenders or whatever or more pvp focused accounts like i'm not really a pvp focused player so i don't really pay too much attention to it you kind of get beat down the list a little bit now this does modify a couple things number one just getting to champion super early in the season was great because you usually got the top 20 and you got the first time rewards the only thing i didn't get 
was uh, the top five. That's probably never happening. Now, the other cool thing that happens once you become in the champion is you're gonna get some really cool cosmetics as well. This top, this this one looks awesome. Like this is like one of the coolest things I've ever seen in the cosmetics in the game. So that one is really awesome. Uh, and then if you do somehow manage to rank further up, you do get some of those like magician looking cosplay things we kind of saw. And you get like another piece every tier you're up further. So you get like the cape here. Uh, and if you get top five, this is where you get the full robe and everything. But more importantly, you're getting other stuff as well. I mean, if you care about the cosmetics, cool and all, but in reality, uh, just getting ranked in champion is going to be one of the coolest things possible because you will get additional uh, XP hourglasses. Now, XP, I, I, I really wish this was hero essence because at this point, at where we are now in the like longevity i mean we have the world bosses out <sighs> hero xp is kind of not needed i really wish they would change this to hero essence that would help a ton of people but again getting those first time rewards for temporal essence and twilight essence are going to be amazing even if you're only getting up through legendary you're still getting those temporal essences for the exclusives so that is really really important again getting 20 victories a week is going to be important because the shop is very very good this is where you can get additional copies of rowan cessia uh you can get your single copy of brutus that you need and then you can start building some more pvp oriented heroes like igor and such so there's a lot of cool things you can do here once you do unlock champion you can actually buy stargazes if you don't need any of these heroes uh that are s levels you can go for your celestial and hypogens potentially which we might do uh but it is pretty pricey it's going to cost you what six yeah like six thousand uh, which isn't too bad but again that is at the end of the season and beyond that uh yeah you can kind of see the reward structure is isn't there there's titles there's like orders i don't i'm not one that personally cares for that but just know getting your dailies done becomes a lot easier when you do realize there are extra free attempts and like we show you here you get the free purchase you come into a battle and you'll notice again just to reiterate once you go up against someone here you're gonna, always going to be going up against their like same setup so positioning your heroes is pretty important and making sure you can like maybe snipe one of their heroes over to your side of the battlefield is kind of important and yeah making sure you set up your formation properly to the point where you think you can win and then doing something like this you can jump into their formation i can take their od away uh and have a better chance of victory so hopefully that helps you guys a little bit know a little bit more about pvp and the arena because again it can be a little confusing if you don't really know where everything is and just try to get as many victories a day as possible you can see here eventually it does go up to a diamond price but just check and see if the challenge button actually has completely free ones for you so hopefully you guys enjoy this one hopefully it helps you guys out in arena and i'll see you guys next time